morning students welcome to the class did you write the fair note of the last lessons i hope you have already done it today let's learn the next lesson the lesson's name is the monkey and the crocodile It's an interesting story about a monkey and a crocodile. Let's read the lesson. On the banks of the Ganga, a monkey lived in a rose apple tree. On the banks of the Ganga. A monkey lived in a rose apple tree. Banks means land along the sides of a river. Banks means land along the sides of a river. A rose apple tree was there on the banks of the river Ganga. The rose apples were delicious. and plentiful delicious means uh, delicious having good smell and taste delicious means having good smell and uh, taste plentiful plentiful means in large numbers or quantities plentiful means a large numbers or quantities the ro rose apples were delicious and plentiful while he was eating them with the obvious relief one day a crocodile came out of the river while he was eating them with the obvious obvious means clear and relish relish means pleasure and enjoyment pleasure and enjoyment it means that the, the rose apples were so sweet so he was eating it with pleasure while he was eating them with the obvious relish One day, a crocodile came out of, out of the river. One day, what happened? A crocodile came out of the river. The monkey threw down a few rose apples and said, "These are the best rose apples in the world." And the monkey saw the crocodile. The crocodile was. A looking to the monkey when the monkey saw the crocodile the monkey threw down a few rose apples and said these are the best rose apples in the world these are the best rose apples in the world they taste like the nectar what is the meaning of nectar nectar means the sweet liquid in flowers nectar means the sweet liquid in flowers collected by bees the rose apples say so sweet they taste like nectar the crocodile ate them and found them truly wonderful Cro crocodile crocodile found that means he understood that the rose apples were really wonderful the monkey and the crocodile became friends and the crocodile took to visiting the monkey every day to eat the fruit of that wonderful tree and it took in its shade every day 
crocodile visited the monkey and a crocodile and a monkey ate the rose apples and for a long time they talked to each other one day the crocodile took some of the fruit to his wife these are wonderful they taste like a nectar where did you get them asked the wife one day what happened one day the crocodile took some apples for his wife when she ate the apples she said the crocodile that it was so wonderful and they taste like a nectar very sweet and he she asked him where did you get get this apples where did you get these apples he said from a tree on the banks of the ganga from a tree on the banks of the ganga he told the crocodile told that the apples were from a tree on the banks of the ganga but you can't climb the tree did you pick them up from the sands crocodile's wife said you can't climb the tree the crocodile cannot climb a tree and she asked did you pick them up from the sands did you pick them up from the sands no i have a new friend who lives in the tree a monkey no i have a new friend who lives in the tree a monkey he throws them down for me and we talk the crocodile told his wife that i have got a new friend a monkey he lives in the apple tree he was giving the apples to the crocodile oh that's why you have been coming home late a monkey that lives on such a fruit must have such a sweet flesh his heart must take it taste like heaven i would love to eat it said the crocodile's wife see here the crocodile's wife was so greedy she ate the apples and she found that it was so sweet now she wanted to eat the monkey so she told a monkey that lives on she says the meaning of lives on has a food lives on means has a food a monkey that lives on such a fruit it means that a monkey every day monkey is eating rose apples rose apples are the monkey's food must have so such a sweet flesh his heart must taste like heaven his heart must taste like heaven i would love to eat it she wanted to eat the monkey and his heart the crocodile didn't like the turn the conversation was taking he understood the crocodile understood what did she mean he didn't like it the crocodile didn't like it how can you talk like that he is my friend he is like a brother in law to you the crocodile told that the monkey is a brother in law like you brother in law to you then how can you say like this 
But the wife sucked and said. What is the meaning of sucked? Sucked, sucked means showed anger. She got angry. And she said, I want his heart. Why are you so fond of this monkey? Why are you so fond of this monkey? Is it a, is it a he or a she? Is it a he or a she? Bring me his heart or hers, which is even better. The crocodile's wife said to crocodile, I want to eat his heart or else I will starve myself to death. She told that if you will not bring him here, I will starve and my, I will go to death. I will starve means I will not take any other food and I will die. The crocodile tried his best to talk her out of her jealousy and ill will. See students, two new words are here. First one is jealousy. See the meaning in page number 13. Jealousy. Jealousy means anger caused by loss of love. Anger caused by loss of love. And ill will means enmity. Unkind feeling. Ill will means unkind feeling. Enmity. The crocodile tried his best to talk her out of her jealousy and ill will. But he couldn't. The crocodile did not able to able to take back her. She was in jealousy. At last he agreed to bring the monkey home on his bike for a meal. At last the crocodile agreed. He told his wife that he could bring the monkey, his best friend, to the home for his wife's meal. For his wife's meal. Next day, he invited the monkey to go home with him. Next day, when they met together, the crocodile invited the monkey to his home. My wife has heard so much about you. She loved the rose apples. She wants you to come home with me. If you come down from the tree and sit on my bike, I'll take you there. The crocodile told the monkey that my wife wanted to see you. So I invite you to my home. You please come down from the tree and I will take you to my home. The monkey said, you are a crocodile and you live in the water. I can't even swim. I will drown. What is the meaning of drown? Drown means die in water because unable to breathe. Die in water because unable to breathe. Oh no, I'll take you carefully on my bike. Oh no, I'll take you carefully on my bike. We don't live in the water. We don't live in the water. We live on a dry sunny island in the middle of the river. 
come with me you will enjoy it you will enjoy it so you please come with me the monkey were persuaded and came down persuaded means made to agree it means that the monkey agreed and he came down students the remaining part we will learn the next day okay thank you